welcome to the channel before we get into today's video if you guys are new and seeing my content for the first time I do a lot of game reviews discussions and I buy every game that I play so that you know my review is genuine so if you enjoy today's video drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so today we are actually talking about hi-fi rush and I know I know I'm super late to the party on this one it was like hi-fi rush was like shadow dropped like back in I think February or January one, one of those ones it was a couple months ago and if you guys were anything like me you heard rhythm game and you were just like nope now I have tried to play a rhythm game before last year I believe uh, help metal Hellsinger is what it was called and it was like a rhythm type game and as much as I loved the music and I loved like the doom-esque theme that it had going on I was just terrible at it like being a hundred percent honest like I could get onto the beat you know towards the beginning but once I got like swarmed by enemies like it was just all over for me and I just really sucked at it so when I heard that hi-fi rush was also a rhythm based game like I didn't even give it a second thought I was like, I was super interested in it. I remember seeing like that commercial for it during the Xbox event and I was like, dang, this game looks good. This game looks good. Oh, today? Heck yeah. Oh, rhythm game? Nope. Next. And I totally wrote it off. That was until recently where I had a couple friends that were talking to me about it, that were playing it, and they generally were having a really good time. So I'm like, uh, should I give it a try? And honestly, I am so glad that I finally did because Hi-Fi Rush is freaking awesome. So Hi-Fi Rush, like I said earlier, came out a couple months ago, so we won't go over like all of the fine details, you know, of the story and things like that. I just want to talk about the things that I really liked about the game. As far as the story goes though, the story was fun. Nothing like super in-depth or crazy, it was just like a fun, simple story. You play as Chai, a future rock star who has like signed up for Project Armstrong. It looks like he's got like a crippled arm and he can get like a new arm. And during that process, his audio player, it looks like an MP3 player, falls onto his chest and melds the music into his body. More or less, the company sees him as a defect and immediately just tries to kill him to get rid of him. He quickly teams up with a girl called Peppermint and this big old dude named Macaroon, along with Cinnamon, the robot. And they discover that the company that does this Project Armstrong is basically trying to use it to like mind control people and take over the world. Pretty like generic stuff, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And that's more or less the story, just the super summed up version. Kind of along with the story, like all of the voice acting for all of the characters was just incredible. They all sounded great. Especially Cinnamon, I loved like his robot voice and just the way that he talked. Like, Mr. Chai. Like, I, I freaking loved it. He nailed it. One of the other things that the game really nailed for me is the gameplay. Which is weird because it was a rhythm game and I did not like it, the other rhythm game. But here, they did it so much more better. More better. They did it better. <laughs> First of all, like, every time you swing, you technically still hit. Like, you'll still swing on the beat, even if you don't hit the button on the beat. But you get rewarded for hitting those attacks right on the beat. So it's different in a sense than Metal Hellsinger where it's like if you didn't hit on the beat, you still swung but you just missed or the attack didn't do as much damage. Here, you're always being rewarded and I feel like it's a little bit easier to play, it's a little bit easier to get into. That and on top of that you could also toggle the difficulty so if you had it too high like I did at first and I was really struggling, I could lower it back down to like normal level and actually have a good time. As I mentioned earlier, this is a rhythm game and for those that don't know, because I realize that some people might not, it's basically you have to do everything in the game on the beat, more or less. You gotta attack the enemies, you have to hit these like jump lifts, all, all of it just has to be done on the beat, otherwise Either one, it doesn't progress you, or you just don't do enough damage. Some instances where, like, I had to do it, like, to get out of this laser beam thing. As far as attacks go, it's fairly simple. Your your typical light attacks, heavy attacks, and you can kind of mix and match them. You do have, like, a power gauge. I forget what they call it in the game, but basically, after you've hit so many attacks, like, right on the beat, you fill this gauge up. And once it's full, you can do a special attack, and you can actually swap out a lot of these attacks for cooler attacks or attacks that do more damage. So you're being rewarded for actually doing things on the beat. One of the other aspects that I really enjoyed about Hi-Fi Rush is how the world is set up. Almost everything in the world, 
like bounces to the beat. You'll have like vents that are shooting out like puffs of smoke or a lamp that is like kind of like bouncing. Like everything within this world is all kind of going to the beat, which for me visually like there's a lot of visual cues where if I'm in the middle of a battle and I'm not quite hitting on the beat, I could see all everything around me is all hitting on the beat. Even the enemies, whenever they're about to do big attacks, they also always hit on the beat. So like I would know when to parry, I would know when to block or dodge. And so that was a really cool aspect that I thought was really cool. Just like the whole world itself is all visually helping you along with this. The game also had a ton of enemies, like a huge selection of enemy variety. And almost all of them did something a little bit different. You'd have like your normal enemies that you start out with. And then you'd have enemies that can only be parried. Have enemies that can, you have to break their shield or that you have to dodge them. Things like that, which made full use of your companions because once you get meet certain companions they all do special abilities for instance you'll have certain enemies that have a huge shields and you have to use macaroon for instance to use him to bust the shield so that you can actually damage the enemy same with like the parries and same with like the force fields you'd have to use peppermint to take down these force fields it was really cool because the more you progressed in the game the more the combat also progressed. Speaking of the enemies, one of my favorite parts about this whole game was the boss fights. The boss fights were so epic. And not only were they just like super cool to look at, the music was so awesome and they were really fun to play. Aside from how they looked and how the music was, they were actually just fun to take down. They weren't hard or anything like that, but it was just fun. And that's one thing that I keep going back to when I think about Hi-Fi Rush is that the game itself was just fun. It was just a fun, simple game going beating up robots specifically the bosses were the highlight of the game for me my favorite being this one boss called rockfort i believe it was called he basically he was like this money guy with a monocle and he transformed into a giant freaking wolf big bad wolf kind of thing as i mentioned earlier with like the enemies the bosses also take full advantage of you and using all of your abilities They'll throw attacks at you that you have to parry. They'll have instances where you have to break their shield or break this force field that's around them. I was also a really big fan of the art style of the game. Hi-Fi Rush has like this cartoony anime type look to it. I wouldn't say necessarily anime, but it has like the cartoony look. And I don't know, I was really feeling it. I loved the vibrant colors. I loved the art design of just the world and how it looks. All of the robots looked amazing. All of the boss fights looked amazing. All of like everything looked phenomenal and I love I just love the whole design of this whole game it looked awesome and that was one of the things that drawed me to it originally before I even do it was a rhythm game and I was like dang this game just looks really cool and last but certainly not least I want to talk about the music the music here was freaking awesome it was so fire not only was the music good in between the battles but like there's parts where you're not fighting any enemies in between each of the uh, enemy encounters and just like the normal like music that you're listening to as you're platforming and getting up these ledges and stuff like that was all super good especially those boss fights and those enemy encounters that music just really ramped up and was just mm, it was so fire the soundtrack for this game was so good i can't even express it enough how good the soundtrack was it was awesome Overall, I really enjoyed Hi-Fi Rush. I am so glad that I gave this game a second chance. There were so many aspects of this game that were just good. They're so good. Like the boss fights, the music, the art style, just all kind of meld together and just made this game that was just fun. Yeah, that's the best way I could describe it. It was, wasn't a crazy intense story, wasn't crazy complex combat. It was nice, simple, and it was just like a fun game to come home and relax and play. It was, like I said, best word to describe it, Hi-Fi Rush is fun. Hi-Fi Rush is spectacular. And that is why I'm going to give Hi-Fi Rush an 8 out of 10. I definitely was not expecting a game, this game to be one that I enjoyed this much. Especially for like a rhythm game, which I've tried a couple in the past and just was not a big fan of them. I highly recommend it. It is available on Game Pass, so if you have an Xbox Series X or even a Game Pass on PC, it's available right now. I highly recommend you go play it if you have Game Pass. Because if you're like me, you heard that rhythm game and it put you off, but I'm telling you, as someone who doesn't like them, this one is definitely worth the try. Go try it, go play it, and that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. You got a killer track.
But every song's gotta end. <laughs> 